Uh, Dr. Gold, um, Dr. Gold, you mentioned something that um, some people cannot get what's basically known as normal LASIK surgery because the cornea is too thin. So anyway, they, they, they want it, but they cannot get it. But then there's this thing you are doing, which is episurgery, which A, doesn't cut the eye, um, B, uh, heals more better because the other one actually, to a certain degree, never heals. And you have explained that in other videos, very, uh, very wonderful. Uh, there is less dryness um, in the eye when you do epi surgery, because after LASIK surgery, the eye gets a little bit more dry or has a tendency to do so. So with the epi surgery, there's less. But then there's that uh, that other thing, and that is sometimes the difference between getting your eye surgery and then seeing well again far-sighted, nearsightedness, uh, reading glasses needing, or uh, astigmatism, uh, either way, it cannot be performed with the normal LASIK surgery, but can be performed with epi-surgery. Tell us about it. Well, when we cut a LASIK flat, we're cutting about 20% of the corneal tissue and folding it back, doing the laser vision correction under that, and then putting the flat back down. But in as much as the flap never completely heals, it no longer can contribute to the structural strength of the cornea. So people whose corneas are thinner than normal, substantially thinner than normal to begin with, shouldn't have LASIK. But in epilasic, because we do no cutting, we don't lose that 20% of strength. And so a lot of those people who were turned away in the past are candidates for epilasic the non-cutting procedure. Very interesting. Do you have any numbers of, you know, what the percentage of people who get turned away is? I can, I can only guess. I've never kept that statistic. But I would guess in my practice, somewhere around 1 in 20 people were turned away because their corneas were too thin. And hardly anybody gets turned away anymore with epilasic for that reason. Got it. So we're talking about five yeah. percent. And you know, you know, in terms of percentage, not a big uh, overall, not a big deal. But if you are one of those twenty people who is now missing out on a beautiful sight, uh, seeing not only the leaves on a tree, but seeing the, vi the veins of the leaf uh, on the tree, not having to put classes up and down and all that, um, what, whatever goes with it, not being able to jump in the water at will, uh, not worrying about glasses, go scuba diving, having glasses uh, um, basically fogged up when having other glasses like skiing or scuba diving or whatever it might be. Um, so anyway, that, those whole inconveniencing, the most important one of seeing beautifully again forever. Um, for that one out of 20, that's major. So people should know about it. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, all right. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Gold. Thank you very much.